Back in my day, if you wanted to get an entry-level aluminum fixed gear for those thick aero tubes for all that extra sticker bombing real estate, you didn't have many options. You could build up a leader, which ranged from 450 to 650 for a frame, fork, and headset, all sold separately, of course. Or you could get the much more respectable but plainer looking Dolan Precursa for around $350 for the frame set. But those prices are not even including, you know, the rest of the bike. Or if you really only cared about how trendy your bike looks and you didn't care too much about the quality, how much it weighs, how fun it is to ride and how reliable it is, then you can get a Visp from AliExpress for around $200. But Tinsel's Aluminum Tsunami SNM 100 cost a slight $460 US dollars for the entire build. How far we've come as a human race. Now let's take a closer look at how good cheap fixed gears have gotten in this fixed gear bike check. But if you're more of a classy high-end steel kind of rider, a portion of this video was sponsored by Wobby Cycles. To learn more about the only bike that I own and the bike that I ride on a daily basis, stick around till the end of the video to learn more about them. And super quick, according to my YouTube stats, about 54% of you that are watching this video right now aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So if you find that you like this video and you wanna watch more, do yourself a favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you can watch more fixed gear videos just like this one. Subscribing is totally free and you can unsubscribe at any time. Do keep in mind, I've never ridden a tsunami and all the nice things that I'm about to say and all the things that impress me about it are based on appearances. My opinion could very well change about this bike if I actually threw a leg over it and rode it. Tsunami is a Singapore-based brand and they're tackling Southeast Asia's entry-level fixed gear market head-on with their entire lineup, with the SNM 100 sitting somewhere in the middle of their offerings at a wallet-friendly $260 for a frame set. I was first exposed to Tsunami on AliExpress and I just assumed that they were one of those cookie-cutter mass-produced aluminum fixed gears that the website is so fond of, but upon closer inspection, it seems Tsunami is a respectable step up from its bottom-of-the-barrel cousins. Tsunamis aren't actually made in China, but rather Taiwan, where a large bulk of the world's mid-range and high-end bikes are produced these days. The SNM100 comes complete with touches of quality, constructed double-butted 6061 aluminum with smooth welds no less, barring the bottom bracket but the crank set and chainring cover it up anyway, finished with a glossy and even coat with Mondrian-esque accenting, decals under the clear coat, a metal head badge, and a geometry that doesn't look like the designers consulted a set of dice to fill out their geo chart, all of which helped to add a sense of quality to the bike that helps differentiate itself from the sea of generic low-quality aluminum fixed gears. And the fact that the SNM100 uses a standard seat collar and seat post rather than an integrated seat collar and proprietary seat post that too many other bikes in this segment use for the sake of being different at the expense of reliability and longevity. That's a plus in my book. I imagine that most people who pull the trigger on this bike buy it for mostly the same reasons that the competition has. It's cheap, and it looks pretty cool. But joke's on you, this bike actually looks like a decent quality bike for the price. Up at the cockpit, to, to keep the balance between price and reliability, we have a set of 31.8 Uno compact drops, including a set of cheapo front and rear brake hardware that Tinsel plans to remove once he gets used to riding fixed. And props to you, dude. Anybody over the age of 40 that can ride brakeless is definitely a badass in my book. The bars are attached to 100 mil, seven degree Uno stem for a dialed fit that matches the rider's other bike, a giant TCR. Weird, right? Roadies can like fixed gears too? What's next? A fixed gear rider that likes road bikes too? Ha! The saddle is a generic saddle that claims to be the Greek god of Greek gods himself. I'm gonna press X to doubt on that one, but hey, it's somewhere to sit when you're riding the bike. The saddle sits atop an allied 
with one L. See post that Tinsel insures me is definitely not a typo in his specs sheet. You'd think that misspellings like this would be a thing of the past in a world of autocorrect and red squiggly lines and pretty much anything that has a keyboard. Might cost $460. Proofreading, probably not in their R&D budget. Moving down to the pedals, we have a set of speed gear alloy pedals and a playful red anodization to echo the accenting on the frame set. Subtle, tasteful, add some personality. I'm all for it. For the foot retention, there is none, but that's not a cardinal sin on a fixed gear that has both front and rear brakes. Rather, the cardinal sin here is having a rear brake on a fixed gear in the first place. The bike runs with a 130 BCD Intro 7 square taper crank set matched with a Neko bottom bracket that works. Does it work well? I can't say, <laughs> but it makes the bike rideable. The chain ring is also an Intro 7. And you have to say it that way because the name insists on being all caps. The cog is a 17 tooth one. And the lock ring is there. The drivetrain runs with the KMC Z1 wide RB chain for rust resistance and Malaysia's year round sticky heat. The wheels are 20 millimeter intro seven rims laced in 28 spoke to save a bit of weight to the old reliable steel bearing of the Cubs wrapped in 23C Kenda Concept tires. It's actually pretty surprising to me how decent of a bike you can get these days built up with new components from a bike shop for sub 500 US dollars. Back when I was trying to build up fixed gears on a budget, you needed at least $800 if you were buying new components from a shop. The fact that this Tsunami only costs $460 for the entire build with new, decent components is impressive. Yeah, this bike isn't going to bring home the most fixie points. It's missing features like a carbon fork, but at $260 for the frame sets, I consider the aluminum fork actually a plus. Stay away from cheap carbon unless you like going to your dentist to get teeth implants. It was confusing to try to get the correct size and it weighs in at a slightly hefty 21.1 pounds or 9.6 kilos for a 55 centimeter bike. But it has a geometry that isn't dumb, is nicely finished and looks well thought out despite its entry level price. Back in my day, if you're trying to build up an aluminum fix gear for $460, you were definitely getting a Visp from AliExpress, which is one, a gamble whether it even shows up to your door within six months, and two, a gamble whether you can even fit a rear wheel in the rear triangle. Beginner fix gear riders really have it good these days because cheap bikes are getting pretty good. If you want to have your fixed gear featured in this weekly bike check series, you can check out the instructions on how to do just that in the description. Speaking of bikes that you should check out, so this portion of the video is sponsored by Wabi Cycles. Every one of Wabi's design choices are meticulously made to give the purest ride quality for the money. And Wabi executes those choices perfectly. Hands made by master craftsmen in Taiwan and a friendly bike shop in Denver, Colorado that's eager to answer your questions and get you on a bike you'll love. Wabi's relentless attention to detail makes Wallace my 58 centimeter Wabi special weigh in at a slight 17.5 pounds or 7.97 kilograms straight out of the box. That's well under 20 pounds for a stock bike with a completely steel lugged frame set and absolutely no carbon components. This attention to detail results in the best riding experience I've ever had with a snappy, lively ride quality that only top tier steel can bring. If you're looking for a bike that could very well put an end to your search for the perfect bike, check out Wabi Cycles linked at the top of the description. And if you can be patient, wait until May for Purple Wabi Specials to make those nearly perfect bikes all that much more perfect. And Fixie Famous shouts to Brandon Black, Kelvin Ho, Zane Kolnick, OC Bike Crew, Ryan Witt, Stan Strong, I Wait, and Julian Corona for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through their support on Patreon. And remember that life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.